Did Mary Mediatrix of All Grace appear in Lipa? During the Episcopate of Bishop Alfredo Versosa and Bishop Alfredo Obviar, the so-called Marian apparitions in the Monastery of Carmel in Lipa took place. Teresita Castillo celebrated her 21st birthday on July 4, 1948 by escaping from her father's house at 4 in the morning to enter the Carmelite Monastery of Lipa. She is the youngest of seven children of former Batangas governor Modesto Castillo. At the time of the apparitions, Teresita's father was the judge of the Court of Industrial Relations. The Castillos were very influential and distinguished both in the town of Tanawan and the whole Batangas province. Initially, Teresita's entrance into the monastery was not well received by the family, who tried all means to get her back. Teresita steadfastly refused to return home, preferring to follow God's call. On August 7, she heard a woman's voice telling her, My daughter, sufferings and trials will be with you until the end of your life. On a beautiful Sunday at around 5 in the afternoon of September 12, 1948, Feast of the Holy Name of Mary, postulant Teresin Castillo saw the vine in the garden shake, though there was no wind at all. A woman's voice was heard to say, Fear not, my child, kiss the ground. Whatever I tell you to do, you must do. For 15 consecutive days, come to visit me here in this spot. Eat some grass, my child. The next day, September 13, Monday, again at 5 in the afternoon, the postulant returned to the place, knelt down, and intended to say the Hail Mary. She has only recited until the phrase, full of grace, when again the vine moved. A beautiful lady appeared, her hands clasped on her breast, a golden rosary hanging in her right hand, slightly stooping. Her dress was simple and pure white, held in the waist by a narrow cloth belt. Her feet were bare and resting on clouds about two feet above crown. Her face, indescribably beautiful, was radiant. Smiling, she said, Be faithful in coming here, be it rain or sunshine. The postulant asked, Beautiful lady, who are you? I am your mother. My little one was the reply. And the lady vanished. On September 14, Tuesday, at 5 in the afternoon, the lady, as if enfolding the postulant, in a tender maternal embrace, said, I wish this place to be blessed tomorrow. At what time, mother? asked the Racine. Anytime your mother prioress wants, my child. I forbid you to forget the incidents of these fifteen days, the lady said. Then she disappeared. On September 15, Wednesday, at three in the afternoon, Bishop of Yar came, properly donned with rochette and stone, to bless the apparition site. During the proceeding, Mary appeared to Teresine, arms again extended, as if to embrace everyone present. This was the first time members of the community would see the visionary in ecstasy. When she knelt, she was told by the lady, My child, Kiss the ground and eat a little grass. Do not forget what I will tell you. On that afternoon, the community also witnessed for the first time the phenomenon of the petals. Although the community had in their garden a few pots of small roses, these were nowhere near the quality or quantity seen in the showers. The shower was the sign that Monsignor Obviar, who was still skeptical at that time, had been praying for. The prioress then related the message for the community. My daughters, I ask you to believe in me and to keep this 
a deep secret among yourselves for the time being. Love one another as true sisters. Come often to visit me. Make this a sacred place and respect it. Gather the petals, my children. I bless you all. The lady vanished from the apparition site, but rose petals were scattered all over the place. At five o'clock, the postulant returned to the site, where again the lady appeared to her and said, I shall ask something from Carmel. I want a statue of mine to be placed here. I want you to describe me to your chaplain because I want it to be as you see me and as big as the statue of Lourdes that is in the cloister. Tell Mother Prioress to have the rosary recited by the community here every afternoon during these days. Clean this part of the garden so that it will be a real place of prayer. You need not tell me what all your sisters are asking, for I know them. Tell them they must believe, lest they lose grace. I shall always bless the community, my child. Extend my love to all my daughters. Tell them that I love my daughters in Lipa Carmel and that I shall always be with you all. On September 26, Sunday, the last 15th day of the apparitions, the lady said, My child, you must love and obey your mother. Tell the sisters to love and obey their superiors and not to forget the things I ask. I shall not ask bigger things from you as you expect because you are my little ones. Do not forget to consecrate yourselves to me on October 7. Be very good. I am Mary, Mediatrix of all grace. I shall always bless the community morning and evening. Departing for the last time, the Blessed Virgin identified herself as Mediatrix of all grace.